Hey guys, and welcome back to Signalis. Let's continue. Now, there is one thing I want to do. In the last episode, we actually explored most of the floor below, but there is this hallway here that we didn't actually have a look in because it's full of enemies. Well, we can sort the enemy problem out. I am curious to see what lays further ahead up here. Oh, wait a minute. Right, okay. That one's blocked. So they are nasty mofo units right there. Definitely don't want to play with them. So let's unlock the door and get out of there. Right, so now we have perfect access. Let's go reset the position of those guys. Now, what's through here? Ah, okay. That's mineshaft access there, but we can't do anything there. Yep, they're going to spot us, aren't they? Right. Kind of don't want to fight these things if we don't have to, but of course... Um... Ah, oh man. Like, if we have to, I guess we have to. They are high... Oh, hello, ladies. Alright, well, I mean, that works, I guess. Ooh. Adler bedroom. Ah, right. There's the flashlight. Yeah, you might have noticed. I haven't actually played this far ahead on my personal game. Okay. Flashlight module. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. So, that's actually a physical item. Alright, I mean, that's kind of a cool effect, actually. We'll take the shot with gels, for sure. Um, we can't go through there, it's locked. Eagle key is required. Got ya. So, some more information on the Adler. This is kind of interesting, because the Adler is like the only male uh, replicant unit that we've seen so far. Ah, so Adler basically means eagle. Alright. Generation 5 High Command Specialist. Uh, frame biomechanical with polyurethane shell and titanium skeleton. An integral part of every protector commando unit, I guess, is the administering unit. A single Falcon unit can manage and oversee all administrative tasks for an entire facility. Freeing other operational command units to focus on the direct control of a protector unit. The Eagle unit is designed to work as a direct counterpart to the Falcon unit, serving as her adjutant by taking care of necessary paperwork and calculations. I like the way they take they, they do paperwork, that's cute. Alright. But these I mean, do these replicants have to sleep as well? It's all very interesting. Now, are we going to get immediately attacked as soon as we go out here? We are, but that's fine. Because we can pretty much scoot straight out. Okay. Luckily, enemies can't actually uh, go from room to room, which would be pretty bad if they could. So these greyed out areas, these are, I guess, rooms that we need the light in. And I'm curious as to whether the light, yes, so the light, good to know, will call enemy units to us, which is pretty bad. So let's go all the way back up to the top. Um, 
fuse button. Right, we've done that. All right, so let's maybe not go all the way to the... Actually, let's go save it. Now we've got our special light unit. I wonder if this is going to show up anything that we can actually pick up. That lighting model is absolutely fantastic, though. It really is. What a fucking superb job that they've done with this. Now, obviously, one fuck factor is that the uh, lighting unit is going to consume another space. Which is not exactly ideal, but uh, we're going to have to roll with it for now. We're going to want the gun. I don't know if we're going to want a stun prod. I mean, that still does leave us with two slots, so... I guess for now, it is what it is. We're just going to have to roll with it. I would rather, to be honest, have some extra item slots, but... Whatever. Right, let's turn our... So, the repair bay. We can actually... Oh, wait! Alki. Ah, oh, we dropped the Alki. Ah, oh, you idiot. God damn it. Let's go back and get the Alki then, shall we? Classic Resident Evil mistake. Absolute textbook. What an absolute bell end I am. Luckily, it's not that far away. Okay. So, if I was an owl card, there I would, I would be there. At least this owl card, I believe, is going to get used up when we go to that door. Unless it has multiple uses, which, well, let's hope not. This ladder is also really difficult to activate. Alright, let's try that again. Once more we're feeling. Now, ooh. There's no robots or anything in here. Not that we can see. A tall mirror stands in the corner of the room. Okay. Pick up the broken music cassette. Go on. A portable audio tape player with a knife embedded in the speaker. Ah, right, that's the music cassette. <laughs> so they really did it. <laughs> they, they broke in and destroyed the only fun these, these girls had. That's kind of sad. All right, well, I guess we have a tape player now. And, uh, you know, they've got like a portable mirror unit, so or, or a mirror unit, I should say. So they can like check themselves out. The, the, these robots really do act just like proper people, which is interesting. Um, so I guess we're going to have to fix or do something with that. We can't search these drawers. Let's go through the cleaning room. I like the way they call it a cleaning room. It's not like a shower or anything. It's the cleaning room. Right, so we've got a droid right there but she's got her back to us take the repair patch how many of those have we got now we've got five of those again that something we can pick up i don't think so oh well so be it bitch didn't have to be this way Take the auto injector. Didn't have to be this way at all. You chose your fate. 
Oh, hello. Let's get the hell out of here. Ooh. Some kind of target area. No space to carry shotgun rounds. Ah, oh, seriously? Weapon case. Ah, oh, we're going to have to come back here. Right. Looks like we're going to go and have another run back to the item room. Can definitely see the frustrations now. Oh, hi. Hello. Yo, how's it going? We all good? Yeah, we're all good. Let's haul ass out of here. That was... That could have been worse. <laughs> definitely could have been worse. Oh. Postbox key required. All right. Cool. I uh, haven't noticed that before. Yeah. Oh my god, this item slot limit is brutal. It's actually worse than the OG Resident Evil. Um, right, so... Oof, god drop those. The trouble is, you know we're going to find the solutions to some of these items, but, I mean, we can't drop that. We really do need to keep some health on us. <sighs> do we need two defensive weapons? Uh, probably not. But that is like a single use weapon that just instantly disables I don't know man alright well let's reload our handgun you know what for now let's drop those we drop the bullets and we'll carry on right let's drop a save Oof. So this is just going to be um, kind of painful when it comes to item management. But it is what it is, you know. Does it break the game so far? No, it doesn't. It's just, it's a little bit needless. It's a little bit over the top, if you ask me. Just how um, draconian they've actually gone with it. Definitely didn't need to be this, this cut back. Or at least, if you're going to have such a hard limit on what you can pick up and carry around, at the very least, what you should do is not have just so many items. Because the limit, or the amount of items there are to pick up is so extreme. Anyway, let's grab up all the stuff. And we'll grab the weapon case. Oh, what's that? No, ah, adhesive tape. Whoa. See, look, look, straight away. No items. So we're going to have to go away and come back. Ah. Uh. But we have a new firearms case. But we are going to have to. Where did we get anything? Shooting these targets. I kind of don't like the idea of wasting this ammo, but I guess not. That's unfortunate. All right, well, whatever. Cool, let's go back. And then I guess we're going to come back again for that adhesive tape, which we, let's be honest, are definitely going to need for something. Um... Yeah, this really, this is the quickest and easiest route, isn't it, to get back to the item box. Ugh. And the thing is, depending on what happens, I don't really want to cut out too much footage. Right, let's drop that down. Let's drop the shotgun shells down. Let's drop those. We'll take some more bullets. Do kind of feel stupid for wasting those um all right let's combine those the trouble is 
you know, in 10 minutes, all you've really done is explore one or two rooms because there's been so much back and forth. But we need the adhesive tape. We just don't know what we need it for yet. I'm guessing I'm going to go out on a limb and say we can't repair the... Can we read that? Oh, we can. I don't think we've read the star unit. Generation 4 low-cost combat unit. Starling. Wow. They're, no, they're the tall ones. They're the really tall ones that we're fighting. Biomechanical with polyurethane shell and bullet-resistant armor plating. The, stand, the standard model of the protector security technicians fitted with extended legs. Star units gracefully tower over most gestalts. Despite their heavy armor, they can move swiftly with their long stride. Their cool and detached mina allows them to analyze situations with objectivity and deploy force as required. Trained in close combat and riot control techniques, they operate best in small squads led by an officer star unit equipped with a ballistic shield. Right, okay. That's interesting. So they're tall ladies. Real tall ladies. So adhesive tape. What could we use that for? And we definitely can't like get anywhere else here, can we? No. So we've explored that. We've explored the repair bay. Ah. Uh, okay. Definitely not going to be able to repair that um, tape with the adhesive tape. So, let's get out of here. Now, that's the music player. And there's no information on those units in here, is there? No. This is all like a... I wouldn't say a happy kind of functioning area, but... You know, before this shit happened, I think they had a nice little community going on down here. Oh, hello. Yep, big mama. Big mama coming to hit us with a big stick. Ah, so we can go to the protector's office and check that out. She's still chilling. She's good. Actually, what we could have done... Oh, we've got two spare slots. That should be enough for now. Leave that one there. So... We've got two enemy... Two machines in here. Ah, the island key. Now we know where we need that. Clobri in the management office. One of the Clobries has holed herself up in the management office on the seventh floor. I've seen her and her illustrations sitting inside of the room, crying. Which one is the real one? Hmm. I think it's because of that painting in there. Whenever I was close to her, I felt like my mind was being assaulted by the image of that island. The sensation was strong enough to make me hurl. Is there any way to neutralize the transmission? Maybe some sort of feedback loop of the frequency of her control signal. Ah! That's what we did. That's how we defeated that signal that came in. Alright, good to know, I guess. Do we want to take this one out? Maybe? Or we can creep through. Ah, oh, no space to carry the hunter's key. 
Oh, come on, man. Well, at least we know that we can sneak past that one. Okay. Right, and I'm not sure what exactly is in this room. Does this room need to be explored? Uh, it doesn't look like there's a lot in there, to be honest. Right, let's get out of this. Oh, God, hello. Didn't even see her. Didn't even see her. Right, well... I guess she just got up to say hello. And punch us in the throat. Very ladylike. So, I guess when we come back, we're going to have to go get that hunter's key. And also, we need to go into the island painting management office as well. Because I think we should have the key for that. Alright, well, that's easy enough. My god, man. The limit of this inventory is is really showing its strain now. Like I say, it's not game breaking, but it really is adding a lot of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The only way around it would be to run around without any weapons or anything, but then, well, I guess that is something that you could do. Ooh, that inventory is tight. Really tight. Anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.